Hello everyone, welcome to the most wonderful session, CSIR NET exam, one of the most prestigious exams in India, no doubt, one of the toughest exams in India, no doubt, one of the popular exams in India, no doubt, every aspirant, every student after MSc, at least once try to write this exam, based on this exam popularity some aspirants generally qualify this exam some aspirants cannot qualify this exam too first of all to qualify this exam hard work is necessary without hard work you cannot qualify if you just compare with gate definitely you must do very very hard work for this csr net exam okay first of all if you put this popularity of this exam aside for a while we try to elaborate we try to analyze what are the profits actually what profits are there if you qualify this csr net what profits are there if you qualify jrf what profits are there if you qualify only ls okay so we try to elaborate this in this video i will try to analyze every aspect of this CSR net along with my experience in this video okay uh, let us see first of all if you take this CSR net exam this CSR net is conducting by national testing agency this national testing agency is actually conducting every every national wide exam if you take IIT JE advanced mains and everything is has been conducting by this NTA if you Consider the opportunities after you qualify CSR net. One is PhD. Okay. So for if you want to do PhD in your life, if you are really, really, if you if you if you think that you are going to be a very, very serious researcher, then definitely this exam is very, very useful, useful exam for you. Best opportunity because if you qualify this exam, government is going to provide you 37,000 stipend as a jrf after that you will get 42000 so definitely it's a best opportunity no doubt at all but if you want to settle as a lecturer or as an assistant professor in any government institutions really can you become an assistant professor by this exam or not we have to understand this so many aspirants are there i just want to tell you one thing based on my experience I'm telling you if you want to do PhD then definitely <coughs> prepare for this exam after your MSc but if you want to become an assistant professor don't expect much from this exam I'm telling you because after you qualify the CSR net recently also government has announced that CSIR net or set is mandatory for assistant professor posts in government universities even though you have this CSR net qualification I'm just talking about the CSR net LS qualification there is no guarantee for your job as an assistant professor in government universities mark my words because if you want to join in any university you can apply for the post of assistant professor the minimum eligibility to apply for the assistant professor job in any university is your CSR net. You have CSR net qualification that it doesn't mean you will get a job. You will get an assistant professor job in government universities. Remember my words. Moreover, with this qualification, if you think that you are going to get at least assistant professor job in private universities, that is also not guaranteed to be honest i'm telling you that is also not guaranteed because you go for any university whether it is private or government most of the universities most of the government colleges will give preference to the phd candidates only but based on the government announcement recent government announcement phd candidates also must have this CSR net qualification. CSR net qualification is mandatory now. 
so even though you have csr net qualification they will give preference to the candidates who have completed their phds if you have the phd degree then you will get directly 25 points i think if you have postdoc you will get more than 25 points if you have only csr net you will get only 10 to 15 points so the reality is this if you want to get a government assistant professor job government assistant professor job is not easy with csr net so my suggestion is only one thing if you really want to become an assistant professor if your goal is an assistant professor and if you want to become an assistant professor through this ls only you have to think twice don't i'm directly telling you don't waste your time in this in preparing for this examination again i'm telling you i'm not saying that you don't prepare prepare for this exam definitely this exam will give you a very very good popularity in society will give you a name and fame in the society everyone most of the people will respect you because you qualified one of the best examination but the reality is this if you think that this examination will give you a job only by qualifying this lectureship no you are wrong it will not give any job to you this is sad reality in india but if you want to do phd then definitely it's a very very good thing you will get a very good stipend but again you have to remember one thing here for your phd you have to spend at least 5 years of time so after your msc if you qualify this csr net at your 25 for suppose you take at your 25 you qualified this exam now at your 26 at your 26 age you are joining phd phd will take at least 5 years 26 plus 5 31 so by the age of 31 you are going to complete your phd after that you have to do post doc really if you want to get if you want to join as an assistant professor at least in the private universities so for the post doc at least you have to spend at least one year at least i'm telling you maximum two years at least at least one year so by the age of 32 or 33 you will be ready to take the post of assistant professor okay so by the age of 32 you have to depend on your stipend only you will not get any job if you want to do phd okay this is the reality so my sincere suggestion is only one thing if your target is not phd please don't waste your time on this examination please don't waste your time in, on this examination just to try to write this examination but along with this just to try to search for any other options because ultimately job is important money wins at the end remember my words you say anything chemistry is my life chemistry is my just blood you say anything but reality is this money wins at the end you remember my words so which opportunities are there actually if you don't want to write this exam if your target is not phd which opportunities are there let us try to see first of all phd it is okay next assistant professor so with the csr net you cannot expect assistant professor job you cannot expect assistant professor job right so on temporary basis you can join anywhere but it is not permanent you, only if you have ls right i'm talking about ls only right so next government exams compared to this csr net if your focus is on gate then i'm appreciating you i will appreciate you because at least if you get a very good rank and if you put all your efforts on gate compared to csr net and if your target is government job or if your target is to settle in your life as early as possible then definitely this gate exam is very very wonderful exam for you is very very wonderful exam for you try to get rank under 50 in gate so if you qualify gate with a very very good rank you can join any psus public sector undertakings ongc is there bark is there wonderful opportunities are, are, are there through gate iocl is there so you can join these prestigious companies by qualifying gate so my sincere suggestion is 
if you don't want to do phd please be focus on get rather than net right because get will give you a direct employment at least remember my words okay so next still if you are not able to qualify get also some aspirants are there who are just not able to qualify get and net both what you have to do simple age is mandatory for all age is very very crucial okay so if you just focus on one exam your age will be gone so my suggestion is if you are under 22 to 28 please prepare for any government jobs like bank exams like any other exams yes even though i am a chemistry lecturer even though i am a mentor of chemistry students i am telling you this because it's a life it's a life earning is very very important in life so i am suggesting you if your target is not phd and if you are not able to uh, qualify these exams just give your preparation time for this to qualify this gate or net just give your preparation time for just 2 years maximum 2 years so if you cannot qualify these exams under 2 years before 2 years right so please change your way change your path and try to qualify any other exam try to write any other bank exams so if you put your efforts if you put if you put all your efforts in any other exams definitely you can definitely qualify because if you take any bank exams so many banks are there so put your efforts on them then definitely you can get a very very good job before your 28 before your age 28 okay because this is the reality i have to tell this reality to you this is my responsibility uh, to let you know the reality of this csa net and get that's why i made this video okay so that's all thank you so much